guys welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm gonna be doing a ginormous Target haul I have a ton of their new home decor their spring line that they came out with which I am obsessed with and then I'm also gonna do a try on portion um, for today's video so I have a lot of really great pieces including this dress that I'm wearing some really nice transitional pieces into spring even though here in Maine we are nowhere near spring, but I like I like the thought of it. Before we start off this video, since this is my first video of the new year, happy new year. I do just want to address something that I talked about in my last video, which was potentially no longer doing vlogs on my channel. I've had so many people message me pretty much like begging me not to do that. And it was enough messages that I've decided to continue vlogging on YouTube. I'm hoping to get maybe like one vlog up a month and then focus on like my style videos and home decor and like all of those things especially where we should be moving into the new house here in a couple of months um, I anticipate a lot of home content coming up but yeah I just wanted to kind of throw that out there I ultimately just want to give you guys like what you want to see and I definitely don't want to stop vlogging just because that's kind of where I feel led right now um, if that's what you guys want to see so the vlogs are a go and something else that I wanted to talk about is just the fact that I know the past couple years have been so hard for so many people for so many different reasons and financially I know a lot a lot a lot of people are struggling even just to put food on the table I mean groceries are like twice as much as they used to be it's really scary and it's sad and um, I think about it a lot I know how fortunate we are to be in the position that we are to be building a home um, to be able to provide for ourselves and our kids and I also just want to always be aware of other people's circumstances and understand um you know that not everyone's in the same position and just with what i do where i hop on here and i share a bunch of things and i'm always sharing what's new at target what's new here and there and whatever money and items and consuming things does not bring your life value i don't want anyone to ever feel like i'm saying that you need these things even if i use those words i just want you guys to know that i never want to make anyone feel less than because you can or cannot afford something this is what I love to do I love to find items that I think could bring people joy things that bring me joy items to have in my closet that make me feel good that make me want to get dressed every day so I just kind of wanted to throw that out there um, before I start this video because this is just what I do this is what I love to do and I know that when I have gone through some really really tough times in my life I have relied on YouTube in the past or like same as a movie or a show that you kind of get hooked to to just escape reality for a little while and that's what I want my channel to be I don't want it to be something that makes you feel bad I want it to be something that makes you feel good that you enjoy and um, I hope I just hope that's what my channel and my videos do for you why is my dog barking so with all of that said I'm gonna start off with the home decor I'm kind of gonna run through things pretty quickly I don't want to be too long-winded because that I tend to do that let me start off with some wall art because the wall art is on point. I feel like it was hard for like a year to find um, antique looking art that wasn't a million dollars. Which if you can see the one behind me. I got this one from Etsy. The photo itself was 75 and it was just like like a canvas or what. Um, it was just a picture. I had to have it framed at Michael's because it's a very odd size. And the framing was more than the photo. Like it was insane what I spent to have this. And now I can probably find something similar at Target. But anyway, this is the first thing I picked up. I thought this would be so sweet in the hallway upstairs in between like the kids' rooms, kind of over near Elodie's room. Or I'm considering putting this in her room. But I love the frame. I love that it's matted. And I think that the painting is just so, so pretty. But I'm going to try to give you guys prices on some of this. $32.00. Such a great price. This is Studio McGee, which I think is probably everything I bought because um, I just absolutely love her stuff. The next piece of art I got, which I just figured I could really put anywhere in the new house, is this beautiful um, painting. And it's like, I don't know, it looks like a farm field. It just looks cozy. I love, again, the gold frame. It's a good size. I feel like this would um, complement a lot of different spaces. It's not too big. And this was only 40 bucks. I felt like that was such a steal. It's so well done. And I just love that. By the way, I'm going to link everything down below in the order that I mention it. So hopefully that's helpful when you guys are trying to shop down below. So this next piece that I got, I just am obsessed with. I saw it. The kids were with me when I was shopping. And I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, I love that. And I just like passed it. And then I passed it again. 
in another part of the store and I just I had to have it it's so beautiful it's this beautiful kind of vintage looking lamp I love the shape of the lampshade it's got gold accents which are true throughout our house we have black light fixtures and then all the door handles and like the kitchen hardware is gold so yeah I love that it has the gold accent and then I love this texture around the bottom and the color is just stunning so beautiful also studio McGee so something that Knox picked out and I love that this was honestly like this was the one thing that he pointed out to me and I just fell in love with it because it says welcome home and my husband has not seen our house yet like he had, he was here to pour the foundation and that was it so he has not seen our house other than like pictures and videos so when he gets home from deployment and we can finally go over there I want to have this on the front steps for him welcome home just thought it was so cute and this was 20 bucks I love the shape of it and I was like, Knox, that was a good find. It almost made me a little bit emotional. Then I got two kitchen items that I really, really love. These are actually both by Hearth and Hand. So first are these little pot holders. These were $8.99, and I just thought these were really cute. It's kind of in this, like, I don't know, like a linen material, but it's very uh, durable feeling. I thought this was a really cute uh, little set, and they're nice and thick. So I definitely want to protect our countertops in the new house, uh, which we're doing quartz so thought that would be a good purchase and then the other thing that I got that I really really liked and I hadn't seen hearth and hand or anyone really come out with anything like this similar is this little berry bowl so it's berry bowl with saucer so it has like holes in the bowl and it's like ceramic so you can like rinse your berries and then you have the little dish to set it in so your berries stay nice and fresh and i just love the color of this i thought it was so beautiful this would actually be a really great gift this with the little pot holders and this was 19.99 next thing i grabbed was this little pot and this was another one of those items that i passed the first time and i was like wow that's really pretty when i passed it again and when i checked the price it said 20 bucks i just felt like it was a really really good deal for something that looks a lot more expensive i love the finish of it it's kind of like textured um and it's a beautiful kind of like warm white color love the shape I just when you don't know what to put somewhere this would be like the perfect little pot with some greenery in it something else I grabbed is this little bowl this is by threshold it was $25 and I love the little like legs on this because they're just like these little gold balls so it looks really cute and dainty sitting I feel like it would be really pretty in a pantry or something like that with some old art above it I'm thinking of our pantry we have like an archway going into our pantry no pantry door or anything and we have cabinets on like the lower part of our pantry so I picture some old art up on the wall a bowl of like lemons or something so something like this and a little pot with some greenery uh, so that's where I pictured it in our home but again a bathroom entryway table something you could really use in a lot of different places but i love the like antique gold kind of worn look next i grabbed this little dish and i just thought this was so pretty it's got like a scalloped edge it's solid marble so it feels really nice and heavy it's good quality it was 25 dollars, which i feel like when you look at the size of it you're like wow that's expensive for like a little jewelry or soap dish but it's so beautiful and unique and the fact that it is like a solid stone just to me makes it seem more worth it. This is one of the things I was most excited to find and like just putting this on your nightstand again for your jewelry or like in the guest bathroom for people to take their rings off when they wash their hands. Um, just such a beautiful and unique piece. So next up I grabbed some pillows. I have regretted in the past when Target comes out with their new season decor, seasonal decor, and I see pillows and really love them and I'm like I don't need them right now. I'll like wait and then they're all gone. They're sold out online. You never get your hands on them. Like I literally like have certain pillows in my mind that I regret not buying. So I grabbed a handful that I really, really loved. And the first three I plan on putting in Elodie's room. So I don't have like a total plan for her bedroom, but her room has always just come so easy to me. Um, the first pillow I saw and like had to have was this one. It's a blushy plum shade. It's got this beautiful floral print on it that looks kind of antique with a little bit of green and cream, light pink. Oh, I just thought this was so so beautiful it is like a light linen kind of color on the other side with this one which has similar colors kind of that like burgundy light pink and the linen color to set on her bed with this one which is just like a good basic pillow how stinking cute lastly for home decor I grabbed these two pillows which I just thought were so beautiful 
I love the color. I love that they're neutral, but they, oh, sorry, I have like fuzz on my face, but they offer some good texture and I usually go for like creams, white beiges. And I like that this one's a little bit darker, like it's a brownie beige. So I just love, love, love the pattern on this. I don't know if you guys can really see the texture, but it's so beautiful. I just wanted to pick up two in case I wanted to use these in the living room or something. Love them. All right, so that is the home portion of the video. I'm gonna go ahead and set up my mirror, get all of my stuff for the fashion portion ready, and then I'll do a little try and haul with you guys. First up, I have the dress that I was wearing in the intro of this video. I love this. It's in like a nice kind of like, almost feels like a linen material. I love the little puff sleeves and the pattern on it. It is a wrap style dress, so it actually has a tie on the inside to help secure it. And then it has this one on the outside for looks with the little tassels. I love the little ruffles at the bottom. It is a little bit longer in the back than it is in the front. And I just paired it up with these cowgirl boots that I got at Target a couple months back. But hopefully they still have them in stock because they're really good, super comfy. I love the color. The heel height is perfect. And I just think they're a good affordable option for some little... Um, cowgirl boots like this. Anytime Knox Rose comes out with their wrap style dresses like this, I always think about my pregnant mamas because this is one of my favorite things to wear when I'm pregnant is a wrap style dress like this. You can just kind of pull this up depending on where you're at in your pregnancy and how big your belly is. I'm trying to like push it out. Um, and these dresses are just so stinking cute. They're comfortable. The waistbands are stretchy and adjustable and they're also really great nursing dresses afterwards. Really, really love this one. I know this kind of like bold stripe is not gonna be for everyone, but stripes are always in and the bold stripes are like super hot this year. All right, next up I have this adorable silky midi dress. I paired it up with this little like turtleneck underneath that I got from Old Navy a couple months ago. I'm sure this is still in stock. They had it in a million different colors, but it's a really good basic. And I love the way that this pairs together. It definitely makes it more wearable this time of year, but something that you can move into the spring and even the summer with. Love this slit on the side. So it has a little side slit on both sides. It's high, not too high, not too low. I just feel like it's at the perfect length. Like you could definitely wear this to work. And then I paired it up with these cute little knee highs from Target, mostly because my legs are so white right now that I did not want to expose my legs completely. But I do think it looks really cute with some knee highs and especially because that little slit in the side. Okay guys, bear with me for this look because these pants are way too big for me. I have them clipped with like a chip clip in the back. so. I feel like even if these were a zero, which I may try to order because I love these pants, but I feel like even if these were, I don't know, maybe they have a double zero. It's hard to say. I'm usually a double zero at Target, so they're probably true to size considering this would technically be two sizes up from my normal size. So just keep that in mind. But they are these super cute little trousers. They're so soft, super stretchy, but like a really, really nice fabric. I love the pockets and how the front is like very simple, clean looking. This is something you could easily dress up or dress down here. I have it paired with my favorite platform sneakers. I'll link these for you guys. These are I think on Amazon right now. They're so stinking cute and they have a bunch of different colors. They're Madden Girl. They're super, super comfy and they just look super cool like paired up with loose jeans or any type of loose pants, sweats, whatever. I have that same little uh, turtleneck on from before, my favorite crossbody from Walmart, and I just thought this was a really cute, practical uh, look. But again, you could definitely dress these pants up for work. I think in your true size, they would be less baggy. I actually love how baggy they are, but I just could never get away with like how big they are in the waist. I also feel like in your true size, they'd probably be really flattering on your bum. So I'm gonna see what other sizes they have because I just love these. I've been on the hunt for some little pants like this and I think these are perfect. All right, apparently I'm just really feeling this turtleneck today, but I thought that this little sweater tank would look super cute over it. I will say I would prefer this turtleneck to not be ribbed as well. There's a lot of like ribbing and lines going on. So if you wanted to get this, I will try to link. I'll see if Target has it online, just like a plain little like mock neck or turtleneck. I love this tank. This is actually in a size medium because that's all they had. I think at least a small would be better. Super duper stretchy, so soft. I love the seam detailing. Came in a handful of different colors, just really, really good quality. And again, something that's great for the transitional season, something that you can layer up with now or even wear just by itself underneath of a blazer or a jacket for work. And then we're again in the spring and the summer. So 
with this I have these Levi jeans so these are the rib cage straight wedgie jeans I have been trying to get my hands on these jeans for so freaking long um, in my size and I finally got them I did get a size 24 which is my normal size a lot of people have said to size down in these and I can see why these are actually really comfortable for me I like the way that these fit I don't think that I need to necessarily size down but I also have multiple layers tucked into these right now so I feel like maybe the waist would be you know a little too loose um, if I didn't have stuff tucked in but regardless these are stretchier than most of my other Levi jeans so it makes them really really comfy I love the straight fit this wash is a great medium classic wash denim and on bottom I paired this look with my little snakeskin booties which are sold out from Walmart I will try to link something similar I just really felt like I needed some pattern to kind of break up this look I will say like looking at the bum I don't know, I don't think they're as flattering as like my Abercrombie jeans. I like my pockets really high. These kind of slant, like, I don't know, it gives you that like wedgie effect, which I do like. I think these are flattering and they're just so dang comfortable. Um, but just, I always talk about pocket placement because I'm very picky about that. So I just wanted to mention that and give you guys a little back shot, but they are really, really nice, super comfortable, great everyday jeans. I'm always moving around trying to get the best lighting. So different setting here, I moved my mirror, but I absolutely love this combo so on top I have this sweet little um, like cropped tank and it's in this really pretty uh, like fuzzy sweater material and I have been looking for an excuse to get this jacket like literally a month before the holidays when this jacket came out I just wanted it so bad and when I realized it was this like soft jersey material on the inside I'm like okay I have to have it like this is something I feel like I'll throw on all the time and I love the way that it pairs with this tank it's just super duper cute same jeans and boots on as before and then I paired it up with this cute little metallic silver bag again this is another item before the holidays I was like oh I just wish I had a holiday party so I could purchase it, an excuse to buy it, and I just thought it would pair really fun with this look because it's just kind of like funky and metallics are so in right now, silver specifically is just so in, silver like head to toe for the holidays was a big trend so I wanted to participate, you know? Really, really love this jacket. This is like a favorite. I feel like you could wear this with like athleisure wear. You could dress it up, dress it down good jacket to have one more thing about this tank is it looks so cute bra tucked like if you actually wanted to wear it with a jacket it looks like a little like sweater bra are you joking how stinking cute for a night out i love not not for everybody totally understand that but always like to give options okay somebody just started like cutting a tree down so hopefully it's not too loud um, but a more practical piece. I love this little sweatshirt more than a lot more than I thought I would I thought it was super cute on the hanger um, But I wasn't sure if it was gonna be one that I kept or not and I love this I can see myself wearing it all the time It's definitely like a brown rust shade on camera. It's showing up red. It's showing up very red That's a little more accurate, but it's definitely like a brown rust color but I absolutely love this it's a really nice like low pile fleece on the inside it's fairly lightweight like it's not a thick thick material so it's perfect moving into spring this is something I would totally throw on with jeans and sneakers it's literally the perfect casual piece um, I will untuck it for you guys because I have it front tucked it's not cropped but it's like I don't know just like a classic like okay, I just I love it I love it so much super comfy super cute and this is in my true size oh my gosh guys do not sleep on this set I like do I even need to say anything this it's just it's so good I, I don't know I don't know what to say the color the combo this top has like a really cute cut right here it kind of cuts in which I thought was gonna leave me with like a lot of stuff here like you know when that like <laughs> comes over um, it's kind of a problem area for a lot of people. I feel like it cuts so far over and it's not too tight. So it actually is like really quite flattering. It does have little pads inside so I don't need to wear a bra or anything underneath. I think the color is stunning but they did have this in a nude color and then I'm not sure they might have had other colors as well. But I love the little cutout on the back. I feel very supported. Here's a close up of the waistband. It's nice and thick and it is double or triple layered I don't know it's definitely more compressive here around the waist I do wish that this seam came a little bit 
higher. I don't know, like my legs are not done right there. Like my, I feel like my butt's up here. <laughs> Regardless, this is so, so good. All right, these colors are just bringing me joy, giving me life. I am obsessed with this all together. This is 100% something I would wear just as a casual day running errands or whatever. And I just love this little jacket. So I got this again in my true size. It's nice and oversized. I don't think there's any need to size up. I love this blush pink shade. I think it's so beautiful, but they did have it again in the nude. So if you wanted to order the set in nude and then get the jacket to match, it would be so stinking cute. I love that it has the drawstring at the bottom. So you can kind of cinch it up, make it a little bit more of a bomber jacket if you want. It's got different material on it. So it almost has like a windbreaker material and then it's mixed with the uh, Sherpa material as well. Super soft and cozy on the inside. Perfect combo, literally the perfect combo. Target hit it out of the park with this one and it also has a cute little Sherpa hood. Not sure what's happening with me in color right now, but this jacket also came in like a cream color and I was attracted to the light blue. I don't know, it's like this beautiful robin's egg blue color. Um, let me adjust the exposure a little bit so you guys can see. Yeah, hopefully you can see the color a little bit better, but it's beautiful, it's like quilted. Yeah, I got this in a size small and I love the way that it fits. It's nice and oversized. And again, has that drawstring at the bottom. So if you do wanna make it a little bit more of like a bomber style, you can. It's like a windsuit kind of material. So it's nice for kind of like wet days or anything like that. I just absolutely love it. And I actually really like it with this pink too. I think it's kind of a cute and fun combo. So I've been trying to find a good button up and like sweater tunic combo. And I think this one is really, really good. I did size up in the sweater and got a small, which I think is perfect if you wanna wear it with tights or leggings. And I also sized up in this button up. So this is by Universal Thread, super comfy. I have this in, I think two other colors. Oh my God, that scared me. There's a squirrel on the steps and it looked bigger. And I just saw a video on TikTok of a little girl getting attacked by a raccoon and I just like instantly thought there's a raccoon on my steps. Anyway, yes, I have this in other colors and I really, really love it. It's just a good basic button up. I don't want to expose myself here, but it does come down uh, pretty far. It's like a tunic length, so really good with leggings. I wouldn't just wear this with tights because it does uh, come up on the sides. But yeah, really great button up. Highly, highly recommend. And I think it looks so cute with this sweater. I think this sweater is so great. This is by A New Day. Again, I sized up and I think it's perfect. I love it with these tights for like, I don't know, a more like fun get together but if I was gonna wear it during the day with sneakers I'd just throw on like my faux leather uh, Spanx leggings absolutely love this trend I paired it up with those same boots that I was wearing some time in the beginning I feel like I started this video like three hours ago yeah, great quality pieces great staples and also this cardigan would be great in the spring if you want to unbutton it and wear it with like a little tank or something in jeans very versatile I am so stinking excited about this dress. This reminds me so much of an Abercrombie one that I tried on last spring, which the Abercrombie one was much, much, much more expensive. And this dress is just so flattering. It's the perfect little black dress. I'm absolutely keeping this. I have nowhere to wear it, but I think it's a good one to have in your closet. It's a great length. It's just so cute. I love every single thing about it. I love this little tie, the way that this kind of has like a seam here some scrunch detail going on. The puff sleeves comes in right at my smallest point. And then I love a good little like skater skirt. It is in like a kind of crunchy like dress shirt material. I'm so bad with my fabrics. You, I should be a pro because that's what I majored in was fashion design and I had to know all the fabrics and now I'm like, I don't know, it's crunchy. Love the material. This would be a great work dress, event dress, everything. It's just something good to have in your closet. I'm obsessed. I don't know what other colors they had this in. I absolutely love it in the black, but oh, I'm even tempted to see like what other colors they have. I just, I love this dress so much. Anyway, with it, I paired it up with this cute little bag, which has this like woven texture on it and then like a faux leather little um, closure strap detail going on. I just thought this was kind of cute and made it a little bit more casual. And then I just kept on the same tights and boots, which I actually really like with this look, so. I think this is a great, great one to end on. Perfect little black dress. All right guys, that is absolutely it for today's video. Comment down below and let me know what your favorite piece or look was from today's video. I love you guys all so much. I hope you're doing well and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.